Hello, everybody that's watching, that's out there. I hope you're having a great day, blessed day. What I wanted to talk about today was uh, teaching and pastors and leaders of the church and leaders of the word. And like I said, there's always going to be some good teachers out there. Unfortunately, there were many false teachers, many false prophets that have taken over the world, basically. And we know this is written, and we know this is uh, what Jesus told us would be. There would, there would be many false prophets. There would be many uh, wolves in sheep's clothing. But there are some good teachers out there. But as I've gone through this journey on this platform, on this site, I've told people many times that there is one ultimate teacher. If you read in John 16, 13 to 15, that Jesus says that the, the uh, spirit of all truth will come and he will guide you into all truth. The Holy Spirit is the best teacher of the word. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with finding a good pastor and a good teacher. There are, there are some out, out there that do a good job. But at the end of the day, they or me or any other teacher should not be put on a pedestal, should not be praised higher than God, should not be saying, well, this is the greatest teacher ever. No, because the greatest teacher you could ever have in learning the word is the Holy Spirit, which is God. He said, I send them to guide you through all truth. So like I said, there are some good teachers out there. I have a few that I like, but they are not put on the pedestal. They are not uh, my ultimate guide, my ultimate source of knowledge. Do they help? Absolutely they help. I hope I help as well. Teaching people the word and truth as best as I can as I continue to learn myself. We are all a work in progress and we all have a daily routine that we do to learn the word. Again, through me, it's through the Holy Spirit. But that doesn't mean I can't have a teacher help me out and show me something, which is if he's, if he's teaching truth, he's being guided through the Holy Spirit as well. So be careful who you watch. Be careful who you align with. Like I said, I've always said I'm not perfect. I'm not the perfect teacher. Nobody is. Like I said, the Holy Spirit is your best and perfect teacher. And God is the Holy Spirit. God is the Word. Who knows the Word better than God who wrote it himself, correct? So again, I would say watch out, because there are many false teachers out there. Some of them are blatantly obvious, and some are a little bit hard to tell. Like I said, I do the best I can through the Word of God, that He gives me the strength to show truth and to pass it on to others, because I love Him and I love all of you. So remember the Holy Spirit. That's your ultimate teacher. God bless you all.